Hey everyone, this is Gabcat242, and here are my recent video games and random pickup hauls. So, this recent Saturday, yard sales was not as frequent as the week before. I mean, there were yard sales, but I didn't really find anything that exciting. And I think maybe because of that, because it was Mother's Day weekend, but, well, then we'll see what happens. But, I did pick up some games. Nothing too exciting, but I did some, get some pretty good deals. So, uh, this is stuff I picked up this week just from random thrift stores. So we got here uh, Sonic Superstars Tennis. And this is brand new sealed and this is also a duo with uh, Xbox Live Arcade. That's brand new. Uh, for PS2 we got Hitman Contracts, Hitman 2, Silent Assassin, Hitman Blood Money, uh, God of War, and for Wii, Trauma Center, Second Opinion, and all those were about two bucks a piece, except for this one I paid like three since it was sealed. And then, probably the best pickups I found. I went to another thrift store for PS3, we got Duke Nukem Forever and Dead Space 3 Limited Edition. This was a shock that was there, and it's all there, it's in great condition, so definitely look forward to playing that. I uh, picked up this random guidebook for Final Fantasy 12. It's only two bucks. I figured, hey, why not? And then for Saturday, so as I mentioned, I went yard selling, but I didn't have much luck. But so I went to my local flea market, which it's very small and I usually don't find much there, but there was a guy who had a bag of just random stuff. So he I saw he had a couple of Game Boy games. There was a Game Boy Advance SP adapter and a Nintendo uh, uh, RC cable. Well, he told me that he couldn't sell because it was part of the bag, and I'm thinking that doesn't make sense. Like, why would you sell that all together, considering it's for stuff that goes for other stuff? So I told him, like, look, people, your, your stuff will sell more if you sell it individually. So I made an offer. So I offered 10, and I got all out for 10. So, so yeah, so I picked up Rugrats Time Channel, Home Alone. And then, of course, the uh, couple cables. So I thought that was an okay deal. And then there was this little... I wouldn't really say it's a shop, but more of like... There's a guy who has a shop. He sells all kinds of like collectibles, games, DVDs, action figures. But they're way overpriced. And I rarely ever buy anything there. But he had outside a box of just random PS1 games. And they're only a dollar. I mean, it's not the most exciting titles, but I figure... Um, dollar piece hey why not so I picked up blast radius uh, X uprising uh, superstar dance hits and Atari anniversary redux edition so I figured for four bucks for some cheap games why not and then today which was Sunday my local antique fair was going on and again a lot of stuff but nothing really that caught my attention so the only thing that I picked up there was I bought this Miss Marvel comic just issue number one, got that for a dollar. There was a lady who had a bunch of random comics. This was the only thing I wanted, so I grabbed that. And then I bought this Princess Leia figure wearing her Rebel Endor gear. Um, I actually had this figure, but I don't have one with the poncho. And I got her for three, so I figured, hey, not too bad. So yeah, that's really about it. I mean, like I said, nothing too exciting, but I think I got some pretty good games. So hope you enjoyed watching.